Hey guys, I am Henry. And I am Don. And together we are gonna show you brand new and completely free text-to-speech softwares. That's right. These text-to-speech softwares at the time of making this video are completely free. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Did you actually think that was Henry and Don making those intros? Well, those were fake human voices made using a free text-to-speech software, which I'm gonna showcase today. So if you're having challenges doing voiceovers because you don't have the proper equipment or a mic, or because English is not your primary language, or whatever your reason might be, then you have clicked on the right video. Without wasting any more time, let's just get right into the demos. This is part one, and in this video, I'm gonna be going over voicemaker.in. This is an online-based text-to-speech software, and it has very human-like or human-sounding voices. Overall, it's really easy to use and can be used on a PC or a mobile device like an iPhone or Android. If you click on the AI voices section, it's gonna provide you with all the sample voices that this software offers. We have standard voice samples and natural voice samples. Natural will sound more human-like compared to standard voices. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna go down and find a common voice that is available in both places. So I'm gonna test Matthew male English first. Good afternoon. I am capable of reading any text that you type here. For example, here is a quote from the Game of Thrones series. Why? So that was the standard voice. Now let's try the natural voice sample using the same Matthew English version. Good afternoon. I am capable of reading any text that you type here. For example, here is a quote from the Game of Thrones series. So if you can't tell, this one sounds a little more human-like than the previous voice. Besides English, Voicemaker.in also offers many other languages. They have Arabic, German, Italian, Japanese, and Hindi. So let's give it a try to some Hindi. Namaskar. Main aapke dwara likhe gaye kisi bhi paat ko padhne mein saksham hoon. Udah. I do understand Hindi and that was some pretty proper Hindi. More formal than casual. Now let's get into the software and actually start converting some text into speech. First thing I'm gonna do without changing any settings, I'm just gonna paste my text and let it play. And here's what that sounds like. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. These text-to-speech software at the time of making this video are completely free. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. So out of the box, default settings, this did not sound like human at all. Next, we're gonna click on the neural TTS. This is what's gonna make it sound more human-like. I'm gonna change the voice to Matthew Mail, the one that has an E next to it. Also for making it sounding more human-like, I'm gonna come down and change the voice effect. I'm gonna uncheck the default and select the conversational mode. I found that the conversational mode makes it sound more human-like than anything else that's out here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. These text-to-speech software at the time of making this video are completely free. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. So that to me sounded very human-like. The next thing I wanted to talk about is applying some pauses to your text. If you have seen any of my old text-to-speech videos, the number one question that I still get asked is how do you apply pauses? Well here, you can actually click on pauses and say how big of a pause do you wanna apply. Generally, I see people using no more than half a second. Using pauses will allow you to break down the sentence much more easier so that the sentence sounds more human-like rather than going too fast like a robot. Here's a quick example with adding some pauses. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. These text-to-speech software at the time of making this video are completely free. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Now I admit I didn't apply the pause at the right place, but I just wanted to showcase that feature is available here. I highly recommend that you play around with all the features that the software provides by clicking on the voice effect, clicking on the pauses, checking the speed, and checking the volume. Another cool thing I wanted to point out is the option of say as. So sometimes you're typing a phone number, right? it may not sound like a phone number when you play it. Kind of like this, where it does not sound like a phone number at all. 8,325,000,050. To make it sound like a phone number, you, what you gotta do is highlight the text and then click on say as and tell it what it is. In this case, it's a telephone number. Now, if you try to play it, here's what it would sound like. 832-500-1050. Here's another example using an address. By default, it's gonna sound like this. My address is 120,499 Blossom Street. 
That to me sounds very bad. To fix it, we're gonna highlight the number and tell it to say as an address. And once you do that, here's what that sounds like. My address is 120499 Blossom Street. So those are all the features that voicemaker.in offers. For advanced users, you could also use SSML if you know how to do that. For the purposes of this video, I'm not gonna dig into that, so feel free to use it. By default, without making an account, voicemaker.in only limits you to 250 characters. And after playing four or five times, it's gonna pop up and make you sign in or sign up. So I recommend that you sign up for this software as you get a lot of features for free. And then also it allows you over 400 characters in one go. These are all the different plans that they offer. If you want to support them, you could buy the paid plan. But I think for the most of us, the free plan should be enough for converting text to speech. And the best part is practically all of this is free. In my past videos where I use Watson and natural readers, they weren't truly free as compared to this one. By the way, I'm not affiliated or sponsored by this software, so this is all based on my own research. Downloading the converted audio is very simple. All you need to do is click on that download button that's on the bottom right hand corner. It's as simple as that. You can also click on the blue download mp3 button to download it. And to show full proof, here's what it sounds like once it's downloaded. These text-to-speech software at the time of making this video are completely free. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Once it's downloaded as MP3, you can take this and put it in your favorite editing software. In my case, I'm putting it inside DaVinci Resolve. By the way, if you want to learn how to use DaVinci Resolve, I do have a short tutorial up here. So do check that out if you're interested. But adding audio to DaVinci Resolve is as simple as just dragging and dropping the audio file into your editing software. Since voicemaker.in only has a 400 character limit, you can process the audio several different times using multiple MP3 files and use the editing software like DaVinci Resolve to combine them. And before you ask, can I get monetized using Using text to speech software? The answer is yes. You can use this and monetize your channel if you use text to speech in your videos properly. For more details, you can check out this video up here where I explain monetization in detail and give some examples. So that's pretty much it on how to use voicemaker.in. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Stay tuned for part two as I'll be uploading it next week with another text to speech software that may just blow your mind. Here's a quick sneak peek. Hey guys, I am Henry. And I am Don. And together we are gonna show you brand new and completely free text-to-speech software. If you already know what software this is, write down in the comments below. So stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, and wait for that next video. Peace.